After a long day sat at the desk, do you find yourself that you have upper back pain and you just want to completely stretch out your back and make that crack? Let's get this sorted of why you might be having this problem. So before we go into any of the exercises, let's have a look at our main mobility and functions of the spine. It allows us to give us rotation, so side to side. It allows us to go forward, so that's your flexion. And it allows us to go backwards, which is your extension. Now that we know this, let's see how we can get some more movement into our spine for when we're sat in long periods of time at the desk or when we're driving. So let's have a look about getting our spine nice and mobile. So the first thing we need to do is grab yourself either an umbrella, a broomstick, or anything like that that you can stick behind your head. And what we're gonna be doing is just relaxing our shoulders, keeping our hips nice and still, and we're just rotation, rotating our spine here. Just get some mobility in there. Concentrate on just moving your spine if you can, your upper body and keeping your lower body static. The next mobility movement we can do is going side to side. So stand and just reach side to side down your body, getting that nice movement in your spine there. So the next exercise we can do is a kneeling book opener. So go into a kneeling position up against the wall and pop your hand out in front of you. What we're going to be doing is keeping our lower body still and just rotating our upper body. So this, we are opening the book and getting some mobility, keeping our lower body completely still. And don't forget to do the other side as well. So we will be going to kneeling position, arm against the wall, hands together, opening that book and just using your upper torso for the rotation. So the next part we're gonna be doing is the extension of the spine. So for this, you'll need a foam roller or a rolled up towel that we can place behind our backs. So grab your foam roller or rolled up towel. And what we're gonna be doing is extending our spine. So we're gonna go back the other way. So place this on the floor. And what we're gonna be doing is lying. So our thoracic spine is nicely on your rolled up towel or your foam roller. And all you're doing is relaxing into this position, breathing in nicely and just relaxing. So we're just using our spine to go back the other way. This is the extension. So with that foam roller, we're gonna be going the other way now. So place this down on the floor and our spine is gonna be going across the top and bottom of this section. Use the top of the foam roller to support your head and the bottom to support your lower spine like this. And what we're gonna do it again is gonna be relaxing in this position. This opens up our chest. Breathe in nice and deep. And with all these poses, we wanna be holding this for about 30 to 60 seconds. Just letting our bodies relax, gravity take hold, and let our chest open and relax our spine. Another thing that we can do is grab yourself a chair, kneel on the floor, and what we're gonna be doing is opening our chest a little bit more. So pop your hands and your arms on the chest and just relax your head through your shoulders. To breathe. And this is another, another chest opener. It will help open up the lats as well. To make this a little bit more difficult, you can actually put your hands together and just relax your head through your shoulders again. So now that we've done some mobility in our spine and we've done some extension, so we've gone to the opposite way that our back is normally sat when we're slouched. So we've gone to some extension. Let's strengthen some of the back muscles that we have. All you'll need is a band. 
And at the moment, I'm just going to demonstrate on a chair that I've got here. So with a resistance band, you don't want it too, too tight or too, too hard. You've got to have a little bit of resistance in there. So tie it around a chair and just, I'm going to support it with one foot. But if you've got something more stable, then tie it around that because it's going to be more secure for you. And what we're going to be doing, we're going to be bringing our band towards us. So keep your back nice and straight and just keep your elbows bent and bringing that towards you. And what we're going to do, we're using our back muscles, strengthen it to bring our band towards us. And do 10 repetitions of these. Give yourself a little bit of a break and then start again. And what we're doing, we're just increasing the strength in our back muscles to help our spine. There you go, guys. I hope that this is gonna be a help to you. If you don't have a resistance band, you can get some bungee cord. That will also do the trick as well. So we've gone through some rotations of the spine. We've gone through some extensions of the spine and some strengthening of the back. All of this will help relieve any thoracic pain that you do have in your spine. Back. So now that we've got that organi organized, oh, let's work on mobility and some stretch. Oh. So these are the movements we need to incorporate. Incorporate, we need to. <sighs> See, a lot of golfers do this. So when they've done a. Uh, when they've hit their ball. <laughs> but keeping our lower body still. Oops. Okay. Your shoulders keeping... No, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Let's try this again. Um, this will help with strengthening that back. And no. Ugh. <sighs> oh. 